Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Ravi here and today we are going to talk about Denon X4500H. It's one of the most popular AVR from Denon and it was launched in the second half of the year 2018. In January or February 2019, uh, Wad Hi-Fi did a review of it and they rated it 5 out of 5 on sound, quality and performance. Um, it was so good that in the 2019, Denon just couldn't figure out a way to launch the next version of it or better this model. So they did launch uh, X2600, X3600, but there was no X4600. They have launched uh, 4700 series this year, but the major improvement they've, uh, that they have brought in has been around uh, 8K processing and similar video processing units. Since I, as you guys know, I have been using uh, Yamaha V585 as my AVR, I reached out to my dear friend Naveen to uh, to help me out with this review naveen has been using this avr for close to an year or a little more than one year um, x 4500h and i thought it'll be best to go ahead and talk to him and get a direct feedback on how this avr is performing and hear out his his user reviews or uh, end user thoughts so let's go ahead and talk to naveen hi naveen how are you doing welcome to my channel thanks for taking time out and talking to me hey ravi Thanks for having me in your channel and hello to everyone. I'm very happy to be here and share my feedback on the Denon 4500. So let me ask you the first question. Um, why did you choose Denon X4500 Edge? I mean, what was your thought process that you went through before finalizing this? So why the 4500 you ask? Before uh, the 4500, I was actually using the Denon 2400. And I was very happy with the Denon performance. After using the Denon 2400 for a year, I actually wanted to experiment different setup. I wanted to know how adding a power amplifier will sound in my room. I also wanted to try a dual sub setup. And this is where the 2400 fell short. It does not have any pre out so you cannot add any power amplifier. You can add an additional subwoofer, but it does not provide any individual bass management. So being a Denon user and being an happy Denon user, I wanted to stick with Denon. And the 4500 ticked all my requirements. So Naveen, can you walk uh, me and all the listeners through your uh, um, unboxing and setup and, um, and the initial process? The unboxing and setup procedure is pretty straightforward. You unbox the AVR, connect it with the speakers and subwoofer, run Odyssey, which is the room connection that is used by Denon. It shouldn't take you more than 15 to 20 minutes. So Naveen, what do you normally listen to? I enjoy a lot watching movies that has great visuals and audio effects. So my top priorities are movies. I also follow a lot of TV shows mm. and occasional stereo listening. So Naveen, you've been using this for quite some time now. What are the things that uh, you like about this AVR? I like everything about this AVR. Let's talk about specs. It's a 9.2 channel AVR that can process up to 11 channels using external amplification. It also has pre orders for all the 11 channels, so you can add external amplifiers. Also, it supports all the latest audio and video formats, Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, RO3D, IMX Enhanced Audio, and in terms of video, it supports HDR, HLG, Dolby Vision, and again, IMX Enhanced Videos. So for the next four to five years, I do not see any format beyond this. So the 4500 has got you covered for the next four to five years in terms of audio and video. And in its price point, I do not see any better AVR and it is easily the best value for money product in its price range. There are better AVRs for sure, but they're gonna cost you a lot and some are not going to even give you the features that 4500 has for more cost. So easily I can say that it is the best buy in its price range. 
So Naveen, you've been using this for almost a year. How has been its performance for you? How do you like it? Coming to performance of the Denon 4500, in my place, I'm able to enjoy movies very much. So mine is a 5.1.2 setup in a small 10 cross 11 room. So, and the speakers that I use are not power hungry speakers. So the Denon does an excellent job in driving them. I get room filling sound. The sound stage is really dynamic and punchy. And uh, also at the same time, the Denon is not all about showing off its muscular characteristics. It is also soft, agile and warm where it needs to be, giving you a very neutral sound stage. So you can enjoy movies a lot. Yes, all right, Naveen. So at the end, um, what has been like, how's your overall experience? Um, a, a quick summary of your experience using this AVR and whom would you recommend to like, what's your final thoughts on this? So based on my experience with the Denon 4500 for a year, I will highly recommend the 4700. I'm not sure how much of a change they have made with the audio part in the 4700. But in the video part, there are major changes. It comes with HDMI 2.1 and it's an 8K receiver. And it supports dynamic HDR, HDR10+. So the 4700 has got you covered for the next five to six years. So I would highly recommend the 4700 and I would rate it the best AVR in its price range. Thank you so much, Naveen. Thanks a lot for taking time out and talking to me and, and talking to uh, to all of us. Um, I'm very sure that uh, with your uh, experience and with your user review, a lot of us is going to get benefited and it will help us make uh, uh, make an informed decision whether to buy uh, this, this um, very good AVR or not. Hey Ravi, thanks. It was a pleasure being here in your channel and uh, sharing my views on the 4500 with your followers. And I uh, wish you the very best. Take care. Hope to see you soon again. Bye. Um, appreciate it again. Thanks a lot. You, you take care. Talk to you soon. So this was my first uh, ever uh, interview based review or interview review as you can uh, as I have been calling it um, I hope you liked it please go ahead and put in uh, your thoughts in the comments if you would like me to do such uh, interview reviews in the future as well the limitation for me has been to own these equipments I am just like a normal user like most of you are and not a professional user so I can't afford to go and buy all these equipments but I can always reach out to these lovely friends that I have and uh, have them go ahead and share their reviews uh, or their feedbacks with, with me and with all of you in an interview format. So I hope you liked it. Please go ahead and share your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, till next time, you guys take care. See you next. Bye-bye.